right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Minor League Doubles Sunday Showdown. Uh, yeah, I made it. Uh, here to close it out. So, Plat League! But first... Jay, I actually don't know what side of me you're on. Uh, Camera right, you have your something left. to give away. Ah, I... cool. All right. So, yeah. Jay, you've got a headset to give away. Ah, <laughs> uh, we do. We've got ourselves a fancy headset from our friends at Arctic. You can check them out at arctic.ac as I dig through my notes here to try and figure out exactly what it was. Because, you know, I didn't have it handy. It's an Arctic P533 Military Edition headset, courtesy of our friends Again, at Arctic, you can check them out at arctic.ac. We've been giving away a ton of bread for those of you who've been watching. We're about to give this one away. 51 people are entered on this one here, and we're about to close it out. Last chance, guys, if you want to get your tickets in, exclamation tickets in the chat, 15 loaves of bread. If you're a regular viewer, that is five loaves for every 10 minutes you watch. If you're a sub, hey, you get two tickets worth 50 loaves every time or three tickets i can do math worth every time you guys watch 10 minutes of us here so we're going to count this one down achieves you want to give me a Ooh, quick drum roll? I have do you want to get 120 loaves you really <laughs> are you really going to get in on this i, I, mean, I kind of want to but no i will not <laughs> all right boys. i will just we're... hoard my loaves here we go i'm gonna give it one more second here that's probably really annoying a little bit yeah, I'm just going to... Yeah, all right. Nice. All right, folks. All last right, call. We're going to close it out in <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. It is Brainiac, which is funny because he's about to play right now. So somebody tell him later on. Congratulations <laughs> to the guy about to play. He's won himself an Arctic P533 headset, courtesy of our friends at Arctic.ac. So... That being said, achieves the demolition That's so and rigged, dude. Dude, a little bit, right? I mean, the guy's about to play, and we're gonna give him a headset too. But way to go, Jay! Way to go! <sighs> no when... integrity in this network anymore. I can't work under these conditions. Blame the bot. Everybody <laughs> always is gonna blame the bot. Anyway, guys, don't worry. We are going to have more giveaways throughout the season. You guys want to make sure you're watching every minute of MLD action to get yourselves enough loyalty points to buy yourselves tickets for the giveaway. But demo and comments, both teams kind of at that 500 mark, a little a little below, a little above halfway point of the season here. Probably looking to get some momentum into the playoff push. Yeah, for sure. Uh, halfway is right, and both at about 500. The Comet's in second place in the Storm Division, the, the Demo third place in the Volcanic. So, you know, uh, pushing slowly forward, trying to get higher up in those standings. But, uh, Jay, uh, let me see here. I can just look, but I'd rather you tell me who's playing. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be Brainiac and Sockflake Shadow for the Demolition. Chill Rocks and Lodsane for the Comet's. As both of these teams are going to get slotted in here now, hopefully Brainiac's not sweating more than uh, an anime person with a tough life decision ahead of them, as, uh, you know, he told us <laughs> did just win the headset. <laughs> now, yeah, no one, I hope nobody told him before they started, because now he's... Oh, he saw it! No, he saw it in the chat. He was oh, totally game he over, knows. dude. Now he's totally rattled. He's going to be super in before Brainiac here in this game number one as the worst game one of his life as we will actually see him in command in the corner here. Lod Zane to follow up, and all right. A, a couple of good first challenges. It's looking good, and does he find the back of the net too? Yes, he does. <laughs> all right, headset to net. Good start for the demolition. <laughs> yeah, ball right there for him. Almost takes that away from his teammate, but luckily it's on net. Chillrox is there. Looked like he might have even gotten a touch, just not enough to get that away. Good start for the demo here. Good start is right. So kickoff too i'm always uh, i always like watching the the kickoffs here in plat league just uh to see how their approach to it goes because that is one of the super controllable aspects of rocket league j and it's a fairly important one because a bad kickoff sets you up poorly but a missed clear off the back wall is going to cost them another one sock flakes finds the back for two nil yeah, Chill Rocks really just puts that one actually straight into Brainiac, and then a little touch off the spoiler, a bit of style there to get that one around Lodsane as he's coming in looking for the clear. Sock Flake Shadow, nothing in front that he has to do but put it in. So a quick 2-0 lead as the Comets all kind of bail out on this ball, but a big miss, chance to equalize. Lodsane perhaps the pass, can he get it himself? He'll need some help, and he will get beat. Big double commit, Lodsane really slow on the rotate back. 3-0 demo. 
And this one, unfortunately, for the Comets, just a little bit too heavy of a commit off that backboard play. They're both kind of right underneath that ball as it falls down. Brainiac just has to put that one in. One really good goal from the demo, a nice long shot that kind of beats the defense, but then two mistakes, I think, for the Comets on defense. Yeah, and that second one really comes down to uh, to communication. The guy in the midfield there definitely has to tell his teammate, because because Lodzian with that touch off the back wall, your initial reaction is maybe I can go up and get this, and the guy behind you definitely needs to tell you if he's going to go for it. Yeah, really just need to give yourselves a little bit more space to react if that play doesn't come off for you. And if you are going to go up, you have to make sure that your teammates got a way out before you kind of commit to that play. Yeah, because as, as long as he tells you he's going, then, I mean, Lodzin can just rotate back to net. And then you don't wind up in that scenario. Good attempt at a pass play. Just off the mark, though. Lodzin really close as Sock Flakes. Again, bit of a poor clear. More double commits coming out of the Comets. Making it tough to really stay up on offense for an extended period of time. This, that's a nice bump from Brainiac. And the 1-2 off the back wall. Lodzane needs a little bit more help. And again, just a little too slow out of the midfield. But Chill Rocks taking a little bit of time. But the demo, I mean, they're kind of looking a little scrambly here in the, the backfield. Thankfully, the, the shooting from the comments not really as accurate as they'd have liked it to be. And the one thing that the Comets are doing well right now, the offensive boost management. They're really making it tough for the demo to get boost and try and get this ball clear. What they're not doing well is maintaining that ball once they've got it into the offensive end. You see it right there. Two players around the ball, but nobody's finished off the oh, pressure. Geez. And then on defense, the realization setting in that they haven't pressed the ball in time, and Sockflake just goes right up between them on the seams. Yeah, it's kind of a, a weird miscommunication there. Lodzane, I think Chillflakes or Chillrocks might have caught a little piece of Lodzane there as he tried to cut back around the backside of that ball. But, I mean, whoever is coming in second in that rotation needs to get out of the way. Just give the guy the space he needs because crowding your teammate never going to help in that scenario. Well, like that crowding too, leading to the, the touch by, I believe it was Chillrocks that put it harder yeah, back towards tap. his own net. And then in the panic, they, they bumped each other. Oh my goodness, it's it's really just communication for the comments. I mean, to be honest, they've had a couple of really good pass plays. There's another one, and finally, this one's going to work out. Chill Rock's lurking really close. Big risk paid off. Yeah, Brainiac doesn't get that clear. Lonsane with that little tiny touch to get that one away from Sockflake as he goes up to try and get that clear. Plus the bump, too. Chill Rock's is like, hey, I'm the last player left that hasn't <laughs> played this ball. Steto. Of course, in the chat. Congratulations on your victory. Uh, now shut up and watch uh, watch your Plat League buddies play. No. Chief, so toxic. So toxic. <laughs> We're not toxic league. Who we'll let you this in? Is, here. I, well, I think I kind of invited myself, but you know, it is what it is. You're polite enough to not say no. <laughs> it's true. Back wall, Good right shot. side, well placed. Chill Rocks finds the back of the net. The comments make it a push here. They cut the lead down to two. And plenty of time to get back in this down two with still two minutes left to go. Six goals inside the first three minutes. Demo just never get that one clear off the kickoff. It's in their end for a long stretch of time. Good shot, though, by Shilrox gets that one in. So slowly but surely, Comet's chipping away. Demolition, really hot start. Kind of find themselves boxed in a little bit on defense, and Lodzane does not believe that ball's headed into the net, opts for boost, and is immediately proven wrong. Yeah, Chill Rocks, unfortunately, probably could have just let that one go. Lodzane was in a great spot to try and respond to that one, jam it upfield behind him, but opts to play it first, puts it in an even more awkward spot for his teammate, and the lack of belief, the lack of faith disturbing. It's 5-2 now for the demo. Ooh, big missed touch. Lodzane just wants the boost. He'll actually give up the ball, and again, you got to tell your teammate that if you're going to just leave that ball and go for boost, you got to tell him it's all his. But thankfully, Comets regained possession. Quickly, Brainiac on top of it in the midfield, though. So a minute 30 remaining in game one. Demolition. Uh, I mean, they've kind of just taken goals for free, almost handed to them by Comets. You take away those three goals, the, the misclear, the, the crowding, and then the, uh, the double commit on offense. I mean, this is a 2-2 game right now. Yeah, but that's that's kind of how it works a lot of the time in these games, especially in 2v2, where it's kind of the sum of your mistakes against the sum of your opponent's mistakes and how many of those you turn into goals. The Demolition right now not missing out on a lot of those opportunities. Nice chip there from Lodzane to the side. Chillrock's kind of crowding. He will spread out, though, figuring out how to continue this attack. And around one, can he get it himself? No, he went for the bump, and 
Sock Flake jumps right over it. So 45 left. Comet's probably just looking for a little bit of something as they move on into game number two. Brainiac towards the open net and not fast enough. Lodzane will make the save. Again into the middle. Big double commit from the demo. Could be a free ball, but it takes a pretty favorable bounce. Goes right back at Sock Flakes. And they will just cruise to the end of game number one. Oh, and he handed it to him. Thankfully, Brainiac wants boost. He wants boost more than he wanted that Arctic headset we just gave away. <laughs> I don't know about that. Because, like, he can always get more boost. He can't always get another Arctic headset. True. At least not for free. Well, you never know when we're going to give away something else, though. You never know. But, I mean, law of large numbers. That, that's not the right law. Law of probability. He's probably not going to win another one. I mean, you're right. You're right, he's probably not. But you know what he did win? He did win game one pretty handily. He did win game number one. He definitely did do that. He, he actually had a really good game number one. Three goals, one assist, one save, and four shots. So I said he was going to have a terrible game one. Uh, dead wrong. Dead wrong. So well done, Brainiac. Well done indeed. Anybody who can prove achieves wrong is somebody <laughs> who has done a very, very good job in my life. <laughs> To be fair, him saying he was going to be bad was pure speculation, <laughs> not based off of any actual data. <laughs> but isn't that but the best way. kind of prediction? <laughs> the the one com where you just complete say it's going to happen. <laughs> complete and utter fabrication. <laughs> it's uh, As long as I don't purport my opinion as fact, I think we'll be okay. <laughs> so again, game two starting off. Again, Comets having the, these kickoffs that aren't necessarily drawn back towards their team. And uh, these balls are just going straight sideways or straight up a lot of the time. And it, it's so tough to have good kickoffs. And it's a good thing to really practice, I think. Yeah. The one thing, the, the one thing that's difficult to really practice in kickoffs is how your opponents are going to react and, and what you should be doing. A lot of it just comes down to making really smart decisions originally rather than trying to practice the actual technique of a kickoff. Well, what do you mean, smart, like, what What do you mean by that? Out of, define your terms, Jay. So, a lot of, a lot of what I, how I feel about face-off strategy comes down to what you're going to do if you're not the person taking the ball. And that, a lot of the times, comes down to giving yourself space and breadth of options to play with after the kickoff. Ooh, that is a weird clear. Demo given a lot of space, but pressure slightly alleviated. So I just think that's that's kind of an interesting thing. So you, you're saying kickoff is more determined by the man in the back rather than the guy actually taking it. Yeah. That's certainly possible. But it does rely on the man in front, you know, not having a terrible kickoff. No, I mean... Every, there, every kickoff relies on the man in the front not having a terrible kickoff. Yeah, there's certain outliers. And at the end of the day, in Rocket League, you just have to hit the ball. But that being said, <laughs> step, one. Is, step one is hit the ball. But step two is having... Hit the ball well. <laughs> My opinion, step two is about having your, uh, enough decisions that are open that you can play with that don't force you into a single line of options. All right. And that is perfectly reasonable. As now the Comets applying a little bit of pressure here, almost at the halfway mark. Much better game two from the Comets. They've kind of just been cruising around. They, they've spread the field pretty nicely, but here they leave the net wide open as they want boost, and that was thankfully not punished. Brainiac would love a second shot at that net. As Sockflake again almost commits Cardinal Sin and passes it to the opposition right in front of his net, but thankfully will find a clear. And Brainiac not able to find that soft touch, and they almost pinch it into their own net. <laughs> That would have been unfortunate, because they were both in a really awkward spot. One of them actually had a better line at that. It was, I believe, Lodzain who hit the ball, but Chirokorok's the bottom of that octane, really making that difficult for him to get the ball clear. Ooh, Sockflake steals that ball away in the midfield. Can he convert? It's a good back pass to Brainiac right in the net, or right in the corner, excuse me. Down back to him, just not really positioned. He's not quite far enough away from that corner to really get a good read on how he's going to clear that ball, and the Comets will be rewarded with another possession back on the green half of things. Brainiac, back wall to himself. And plenty of touches. Let's get one more. Why not? Chill Rocks gives way. 
Lodzane in the midfield. It's actually a bit of a breakaway. Is it fast enough? It is. Brainiac made an attempt at it, but really good dunk there by Lodzane getting out in front. Yeah, good demo as well by Chillrox on Sockflake there. Don't think he would have been able to cut the angle down, but it opens the lineup for both Comets to commit. Now, here's the thing. They don't get that dunk achieved. Both of them are in the back netting. The ball probably back the other way. <laughs> it's certainly possible. A dangerous double commit again. And we definitely saw a fair bit of struggle on that in game number one. Interesting to see if they're able to, to rectify that moving forward throughout the rest of the series. Wonder if it's just not them having warmed up or something, perhaps or if it's a persistent issue for them. I guess we'll have to see. It's only game two. It's hard to really get a trend on a team that we haven't seen a lot of on stream yet this season, so. Yeah. Cool. Oh, nice. One, two. Chill Rock's trying to go quick across his net. Really didn't square it up, but the demolition's still struggling to really find the back of the net. And thankfully, they get another free attempt here as a poor dribble in the midfield. Another double commit out of the Comets. It's just that communication. Yeah, that, it's it's that sensation that my teammate isn't doing anything, so I need to do something. But that doesn't <laughs> necessarily. It's it's not necessarily a, 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 a what is it? A logical I, fallacy. I know what you that, mean. It's a logical fallacy. <laughs> it's like my 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 teammate doesn't seem to be doing anything, therefore I must be doing something. But it's that first instinct that you you just have to try and mitigate with a little Fight bit. It. <laughs> exactly. Just Fight swallow the urges. <laughs> swallow the urge to play the ball. <laughs> Oh, this is dangerous. Brainiac has a free net. Lodzane trying to get in front, and one, two, tap, and off the back wall. Tough break. The demolition again denied, and it would have been a great equalizer. Perhaps trying to force overtime. Overtime. Pronunciation is way overrated. Lodzane to himself. He will just delay a little bit. Sockflake needs a roll. He will get it. Can he get it? Come on, go get it. Pass, there it is, and nobody's there. Tough break. Feels bad. Demolition give up game two. The series is at ones. I did not think that ball was going to get up over the crossbar. The the unfortunate thing, though, is in that <laughs> sequence that of play. Bounce. Well, the last <laughs> bounce was fine, but the demo on Brainiac by the Comets at ah. midfield, that's what really set that up because Sockflake had to do it all himself, and there was just no option to pass to off that backboard, and the ball never rolled away to do him any favors. Yeah, and you can kind of see on the scoreboard here, there's not a lot of points generated by either team. This was a this was a lot of, we're going to take the ball down to your side. Ah, we've lost the ball. We're going to take the ball down to your side, and we've lost the ball. And <laughs> it was kind of this weird back and forth of, like, just trying to get possession in general. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm kind of looking for both teams to, you know, at least hang on to the ball past the midfield line. You know what that kind of felt like? That kind of felt like a football match where it ends one goal <laughs> and not a lot of stuff happened outside of that one goal. It's like, ah, yes, good game, gentlemen. <laughs> See you next week, I guess. <laughs> exactly. Well, game number three begins now. Big game three. Always important when your series is tied 1-1. And this is a good pass, but Chill Rocks may be expecting a bit sharper of an angle into the midfield. It kind of came straight back at him. Couldn't really cut it down, but the Comet's trying to hang on here. Demolition, a lot of space given. That ball really should have been held onto by the Comets. You gotta wonder where they ran away in their own backfield, though. And that is a nice bouncer right over the top of the defense. And Sockflakes gets the demo on the board first. Yeah, the first Comets player who was playing the ball awkwardly off the boards kind of got a weird touch. But his teammate went all the way back for demo, gave pretty much the maximum amount of space to be able to deal with that. The demo just never really attacked it until they had that opportunity to get both players upfield. It was a weird one for sure, but the demo take advantage. Yeah, the, the comments just kind of gave up the ball, and they uh, hopefully rectify that going forward, as that was a good pass off the back wall, but very patient out of the midfield from Chill Rocks, hesitant to commit to this one, and that is a big miss. Huge double commit from the Demolition, just put it in on net, and post to himself, to the middle, and he will find it. Lodzane goes around the defense. He had to do it in two, but he'll take it. It doesn't matter if you get two cracks at it, as long as one of those two cracks goes in there. And Lodzane just gets that one past the challenge of Sockflake. A little bit tough to challenge that one off the baseboard of the uh, of that post because you're never quite sure, especially at the platinum level, how that's going to bounce off. Uh, bounce, excuse me, bounce off the, bounce. the baseboard. I'm telling you, dude, pronunciation is the most overrated thing in Rocket League commentary. We is don't it a need crutch? it at all. It is the biggest crutch. 
To be a true Rocket League broadcaster, you don't have to know how to speak. Oh, and how about this two-tap from Sockflakes from the side wall? How about the credit for the turtle goal here? First one to get this one off, one to finish the job, and that little Ooh. touch. I don't Ooh. know if that was enough to throw off the defender, because it looked like Lonsane was coming in full tilt anyway and would have had to leap at that one, but you know what? It looked good. If you we'll loved it, it <laughs> clip it, send it to us at ML Doubles, hashtag MLDPOTW. Definitely a good one for sure. And the demolition steal the lead right back. As here comes Sockflake up the side. He's got a teammate lined up. There it is towards the top, and they're just waiting in the midfield. That's really the, it's, uh, that's the, the fun thing you get to try and learn when you play 2v2 in MLD if, if you don't play a lot of it. like You just have to get that sense of when you can and can't commit to a pass from your teammate. Yeah, the first pass in 2v2 almost always is more of a bait and switch. You want to use that ball to try and pull the defense into an awkward clear, one that they're not going to get a great play off of. And that's when your teammates should be following up, not necessarily on that first time pass trying to get the one-timer shot. And it also kind of depends, because you can kind of realize, I mean, if, if you're the man waiting for the pass, you're, you're not necessarily looking at your teammate the whole time either. You're trying to size up, can the opposition challenge this pass? And once you figure out that no, they can't, then when that's when you know that you can at least commit to the attempt rather the, than trying to play it a little safer. It's the one thing that's really, really tough to learn too because it, it goes against every first instinct to play the ball when your teammate makes a pass because you see that <laughs> you see them playing the ball and it's like, oh, this should be a pass because they're putting it in front. But in reality, they're trying to put the ball in an effective spot to try and move the defense away from what they want to do. Ooh, Sockflake. Awkward touch, though. Comet's given a bit of extra space. Stolen right off the hood, though. And now, ooh, tough break for Lodzane. Geometried out of that ball. <laughs> Just a slightly too early flip, and it will be punished. Brainiac finds the lower right-hand side. Yeah, in your end, you want to make sure that your touches are controlled. They're measured. Lodzane doesn't get that one there. Chill Rocks and Lodzane in full panic mode after that one. They never regain control of the ball. Brainiac puts it in. 3-1, two-goal lead for the demo. Now, in your defense, Lod Zane, uh, now that you know exactly how that hit happened, you go and use it on the opposite side of the pitch. Because I had a shot almost exactly like that, like three hours ago. And I was like, I don't even know how that found its way into the back of the net. Chill Rocks does the same thing into the left-hand side, 3-2. Really good persistence here. Wins this one and just beat Sockflake to that shadow. Looked like he kind of pre-jumped, expecting it to go against the backboard. Chillrox just rolling that off the back end of the car. Brainiac helpless to watch it roll by. Lead cut down to one goal. Can we talk about how awesome the Polypop explosion is? I want it. Maybe after I, this. I really want All it. All right, good save. <laughs> it makes such a satisfying sound. Right? Pling! <laughs> Better than the Foghorn that is the Batmobile. <laughs> it's it's just because it's unnecessarily loud. Yeah. If it was like down like three decibels, it'd be great. You just gotta get that audio mixer slider down a little bit. Inception blah or bust. Ooh, hard pinch right in front of the net, and thankfully the first one too, it's gonna be Lodzane. So they've got a minute to find the back of the net one more time. Sockflake to delay. How about an extra touch just to throw off Chill Rocks? And that's an interesting thing. I watched Chill Rocks react to that touch from Sockflakes. He didn't even move. He waited to move until after Sockflakes touched the ball. It's like, you gotta respect the touch regardless. You can just go and take it as soon as he touches it again. Exactly. It's good patience. Because you know that that touch is probably gonna do something weird because of the, the positioning of the car. So, by waiting, by letting him see yo, oh, Chill Rocks double touch Lots eight second crack and Brainiac plus post, keeping that one clear. Well, it's like, the the point I was getting to, like, the waiting part was good. The not repositioning himself was bad. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. You're, you're probably right on that regard. Ten seconds to go, though. Comets still need one. Ooh, that is not going to help them. They're both on the same part of the pitch. It went all the way to the opposite side. Brainiac wastes even more time with a nice high punt off the back wall. And <laughs> if they had one more second... That finds its way into the back of the net. Demolition take game three on the verge of winning the entire set. And it's looking pretty good for them. How about the shot count, though? Ten shots out of the Comets, five saves from Brainiac. Mm, yeah. It was a wall. All right, Brainiac. We get it. You want a headset, 
and now you're just doing everything. It doesn't like you had a hat trick in game number one, and now you've got the savior medal in game number three. Uh, oh, what's next? Playmaker. Savior. Playmaker's Playmaker. next. Playmaker's yeah? next. All right. How many assists in this game for Brainiac J? One. One. Okay. <laughs> no faith. No, no faith. faith. No. None, no, <laughs> none whatsoever. So here's game four. Comets won game number two, a score of one to nothing. Can they pull it off and go to game five, and not having to play damage control? As that one hard off the corner, Chill Rocks takes a hop at it. Didn't really have to. But either way, the comments will force it all the way down to the green side, and it will be Brainiac to clear. Solid read from Lodzane. Chill Rocks, though, already on his way back. Should have scooped up that midfield boost, could already be on top of that ball. Instead, gave a lot of space, and he didn't even have time to pick up the corner. Demolition now in command. Billy had time to pick up the corner, but his teammate getting beat down on offense made him kind of jump towards trying to reposition himself to play that ball, and then Ooh. ends up without boost. Just can't find oh. the angle on the base of the post. How about another one? Lodzane, this one's still in front and rushing back. Not going to make it. Chill Rocks makes it 1-0. The Comets on the board. Yeah, tough. Brainiac got bumped a little bit trying to make that clear. Socks like just retreating underneath that. Not a lot Not a lot of good happens when you're driving backwards in Rocket League. Perfect example of that there is the panic just sets in and the Comets with a couple kicks at the can yet again finally get the first one over the line. And it always... Oh, that one goes right through the defense. Brainiac gets a free one. Uh, if you're going to come out on this kickoff, you got to hit the ball. And Lod's saying, you see him pull that <laughs> controller to the left, trying to read that yeah. one. And unfortunately, left was the wrong choice. Straight at it would have been ideal. Man, it, even worse, because I went to Brainiac's camera. Brainiac, he saw him cut out. <laughs> and he just positioned and said, even if you hit this ball, it's still going into the back of the net. Oh, great well, demo by Lod's saying. They get it right back. Lod's saying makes it 2-1. Well, a couple of weird goals back the other way. It's a big clear by Lodzane off the kickoff. He just makes a beeline for the one player in position to play that ball and taps over the line. All right, one goal lead restored for the Comets. We're no closer to finding a winner because we're still got four minutes on the clock here. Yeah, this is kind of battle of kickoffs here to start off game four. Another chance for Chill Rocks and just too early on the challenge. And that is 3-1 for the Comets. And Sockflake gave up a lot of room, went for that corner boost. Not the worst play in the world, but the problem is he took a really long line to that. You can see him doing that half loop instead of the backflip into the corner, which positions yourself really effectively to come out across the goal line to try and make the challenge. And the real thing is, you, when you're beat to that ball so hard, you, judging distance is something that really you only learn with time, because that's, that's a challenge you make when you don't realize how how much you're beat to the ball by, but that is a good pass. How about two, Lodzane gets it tapped over his head. Again, Comet's struggling to find the net on their first free attempt a lot of the time, but here in game four, it has worked out. And Sockflake, can he chase this one down? He's got no boost. And they will not get it, Comet's make it back in time. But like I was saying, judging distance to, to challenge the ball, it's something that you really have to work hard at. It's really, League, it's really tough to get that depth perception down, but also just to understand what types of balls you're really not favored to get to. It's, it's really only something that comes with a lot of experience and practice because you only learn when you don't actually make it to the ball. I'm trying to think about uh, what types of balls uh, that I am not allowed to make it to. Uh... Usually ones that are ro rolling away from you in such a way that it's closing the distance down to your opposition faster than oh. it's <laughs> faster than you can close Ooh, it yeah. down, but <laughs> yeah, nice great shot dunk. here. But how about that dunk by Sockflake? Hard into that corner. Shillrocks is all the way upfield. There's really nothing he can do about that one. Brainiac just drills that one in. Well I was just going I You know what? Never mind. This is a family friendly place. I will take that all back. <laughs> <laughs> Sock flake with a back pass and Brainiac down to the orange side. Chill rocks. Ooh, bit of a weak touch from the demo, but still threatening. Stealing away the boost and then, okay, not quite giving up on the ball. Sock flake is there to contest. As now it is Brainiac's turn. This one pinched right towards the top of the box. How about the doink? And I'm so sad. Yeah. Massive disappointment, Jay. 
when a, when a chief senpai is disappointed, you know <laughs> you've goofed. Oh, there's a doink. How about can no? He can't get there. They're so close. So close. Just because we weren't, <laughs> we we couldn't say doink at DreamHack, and so now really? whenever I see one, I'm excited to say the word doink. <laughs> That's an interesting word to not be allowed to say. You know what? <laughs> All credit to DreamHack for that one. <laughs> Chill rocks. Ooh, missed touch. And that will again be the demolition. Looking to find an equalizer here. They got 90 seconds left. Brainiac would love to take his headset and a series win in four games. And this is a good chance. Nice long clear. He just needs this pass. Just go up and get it. You can't give time to clear the ball, man. Go! Attack! Be free! Gotta, gotta just go for it. You have to get in and challenge that one. The longer oh. you give teams to clear the ball in their own corner, the you know more likely they are to actually pull it off. Oh, we own gold it. Sorry. That feels so bad. You can see the decision making happening. He's like, how do I get this ball by him but not put it in? Yeah, that just... <laughs> I can't really identify where that play broke down. I, I well, can't. It, it's... Well, it broke down in the in the midfield. Again, the comments went a little bit too aggressive on the offensive side, and the Demolition got a nice, free, big, long clear. And then uh, a little bit of uh, helping hands from uh, Chill Rocks, because, you know, it's Why very not? tough to approach a ball like that. It is true. It's it's tough to defend that way, especially in the Ooh. panic. Man, I said they were looking to find an equalizer. I don't know where they've got the lead. The Demolition launched one from the top of their own box, and Lodzin misses the save. Yeah, a little bit tough. I'm not sure how much boost he had on that one, but he got caught in a really tough spot as that ball was coming right up Main Street at him, right in a spot that he really didn't have a lot of options to play in. Well, now it's the comments. Need an equalizer in 40 seconds. And now we're just probably going to see the same thing out of the demolition that they've been doing the past 30 or so. Just continue to launch that ball downfield. It's worked out quite well for them here in the last 30 seconds and there's another big double commit from the comments out of the midfield and another missed touch and the demolition will again force the ball over to the orange side nice high bounce easy one two off the back wall there he is and that was a good to try from sock flake but chill rocks well positioned and here's the final 10 the comments need something and it is not whiffs and it is immediately punished sock flake says thank you very much we'll take the series yeah, two cracks at the can to get that ball clearing. You just get the sense that Chill Rocks probably could have let that one roll down and hit it on the balance, but he tried to go up for the aerial, tried to get that one away with not a ton of power behind it, and the timing, the execution, both letting him down. And this one will slip away. Comet's going to lose a series, but they got one game left to try and stem the bleeding. Bam! Right at the center. All right, good stop, Sockley. All right, let's see how many assists he got. What do you think? You said one. He got, well, he got three goals, so, I mean, it's not looking good for me. <laughs> Didn't he get any. He got zero. Ah. All right, you have one more game, Brainiac, to, to get the three goals, three assists, three saves, three shots throughout the series. I believe in you. Do you know why I chose one assist? There, there's a reason for this, Chiefs. I cure. Elaborate your thought process for me, Jay. I would love to hear it. Historically speaking... With with MLD's history primarily being in the the platinum the, the platinum levels, uh, you don't see a lot of really high level team plays and a lot of consistent team plays. You see a lot of punishment of mistakes that come down to defenses kind of breaking down, and we've seen a lot of that out of the comments throughout the course of this series. So, law of probability, logically, law of averages, <laughs> logically, you see a little bit more punishment of individual efforts. All right. How dare you use hard data while I'm just making conjectures over here? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you. So I suppose that's reasonable. Chill Rocks on a dribble. How about... No. <laughs> he almost had a second flip reset. I don't think it would have helped, but it would have been funny just to see. If he got a flip reset off of that low dribble, I would have just <laughs> given him my vote. But Ooh. how about Sock Flake? <laughs> Talk about punishing mistakes. The comments leave one hanging for them to pick off. Yeah, Chill Rocks takes a really early cut into this ball, and then he doesn't go for it. He lets it go and says, you know what? I want a different angle. And Sock Flake says, if you're not going to take it, I will. So another one 
into the back of the Comets net as Chill Rocks. Bit of a weak clear, and here come the demo one more time. Already won the series. Currently, demo at the start of the series, 8 and 12. And that is into the back of the net. Sock Flakes finds another. Yeah, looking like the demo might be getting close to that 500. Won't quite get there as 4 1 will put them at 12 and 13. But definitely back in the conversation for the Volcanic Division at least. But a lot of time left to play. Can still give up a couple of goals here. Can give up the last game of the series. Well, we've certainly seen the comments. They're able to string a few together if they can really get the ball in their control in the midfield. And right there, saw Lodzain crowd chill rocks just a little bit, immediately spread himself out. Again, some awkward touches. Comments have, I mean, it's, it's good approaches to the ball. It's just getting that final touch. It's just there's a little bit too much speed as they try and approach this ball, I think. And they just quite haven't measured it out yet, as that is another missed clear and instantly punished. Oh, one assist for Brainiac here. He gets it on this hold, which is one up. He's got beat. two. He's got two. Does he have two? Really? Oh, He's got two. Yeah. One more, then. He got one earlier. Prove, prove achieves correct. See if he can get that playmaker to go with the hat trick and the savior. I believe in you. You can do it. You've got three and a half minutes to get one assist. How hard could it be? That's actually incredibly hard, believe it or not. <laughs> I used to be on the save leaderboard. Like, back when I played, like, 12 hours a day, every day. And, uh, like, I was constantly, like, 2,000 assists behind ever making it into the top 100 assists. Like, that is how hard it is to get assists in this game. It is silly. It is silly. Chill rocks. Back towards the corner. Good stave. As Sockflake again. Really threatening. Sockflake has kind of been all over the demolition all series. And Brainiac as well. Just lurking in the midfield because they realize that the Comets have kind of missed a lot of touches or made some poor clears. And they are more than willing to, to send a, one player fairly aggressive. And it has worked out quite nicely for them. And this is a good one two down to the other side. All right, Brainiac, let him score it. No! Back post and wide. Yeah, Sockflake needed to hit that one-timer from the midfield on the pass. How about a ceiling shot? Corner oh, it is. is. But no assist. Field. <laughs> Play is worthless. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> this is an excellent shot from Sockflake. That is the quickest read off of a corner you might ever see in Plat League. I'll tell you this all, all day. It is very easy to learn mechanics at any skill level because a lot of mechanic is simple repetition. What is really difficult is learning when to use those mechanics. That is true. I'm 3,900 hours in, and I still can't dribble. Yeah, there, there's a famous clip. We won't link it on air, but... <laughs> <laughs> there is a famous clip. They do get one back off the kickoff. Lodzane goes over the top of a charging demo player, and he is not even close. Good nope. try. Not even close. It was, came back from a really long way away. Lod Saint just kept his cool, brought it down, and said, Hey, it's an open net. I don't need boost to get this in. Let me just run Crunch. this one down in. Overrated. Boost is lame. Most undervalued or overvalued resource in all of Rocket League. Uh, just leave that one for Chill Rocks. There you go. So now they push forward. Brainiac looking for a little help from his teammate. Instead, he'll have to do it himself. And he is immediately demolished. Oh, big miss clear. Lodzane, all right. Good taking your time. Sockflake really harrying him, though, on that clear. Couldn't get a tip on the ball, but the light grows dim for the Comets here in game number five. I mean, they, they really need a big something here. Sockflakes puts one more on target. Lodzane, there we go. He gets in front of that. Here comes Brainiac very far away. Got a dunk. There's the pass to Sockflake. And he just wasn't ready for it. So still no assist. No assist. Uh, two cracks. Now of I'm that... going to start yelling at Sockflake. <laughs> two, two cracks of that assist you wanted to get the playmaker for Brainiac. And saved both times. Oh, how about this one? Downfield. He's right there. No! Feels bad. I believe. All right, Sockflake. Pass. Does that count? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Come on. He's got four goals. Transfer. 
Yeah, the, the Comets really just couldn't deal with that ball. They had the opportunity to keep it in the Comets' engines. Not enough pressure, not enough consistency to keep that ball down there. And 5-1, Demo looking very much poised to take the 4-1 on the series, but Achieve screaming for the playmaker out of Brainiac here. I demand it. And here we go. And wow, I don't know how that ball didn't get put anywhere other than straight down, but okay, Sock Flake. Top of the box, cruising to victory in the final 30 seconds. It's really the, been the punishment show from the demolition here all five games. Like you were saying, the comments kind of struggled to clear the ball and hang on to it. A couple of big defensive misses on their own half. Brainiac, no, so close. Couldn't cut that one down. Chill Rocks looks to shut me down, as he should. Mod Zane back wall to himself, and so close. It was a great read, and here's the last chance. Sock Flake drops the ball. Brainiac does not get his third assist, and I am left to weep silently in my chair. You shouldn't have said, how hard could it be, and then talked about how hard it is to get an assist in Rocket League, but yeah, the Comets, a lot of little things adding up a long way through the course of that match, Chiefs. Yes, that is absolutely true. Uh, you, you really kind of hit the nail on the nail on the head. Just a lot of, uh, a lot of missed clears. Some crowding positional issues, and honestly, a lot of that gets fixed with communication. Mm. I think the comments just kind of have to get better at, at saying, hey, I'm going to leave this ball, or hey, I'm going to take that. And as soon as they start doing that, at that point, it just, be it just comes down to mechanics. And mechanics are, thankfully, one of the easier things to fix. Yeah, because like I was saying, mechanics are probably the, the easiest thing to learn individually. It's the decision making that sometimes is very, very difficult because yeah. if if you're not able to actively recognize when that's going wrong, it makes it really mm -hmm. difficult to to actually kind of understand what you're doing wrong and improve on it. But that's the great thing about MLD is you're around a lot of really good players in, in an environment that is really committed to the growth and development of players and it's a great place to get into and to to really work on improvements because we've seen people that have come out of out of the league from you know the the gold platinum ranks from the last couple of seasons hit grand champ recently so wait who uh, i mean i'm incredibly envious of those people <laughs> i mean there's rye formerly much beast who uh hit gc this past season in a number of playlists um i think mish is All almost right. there as well Played for I the get Sharks it. a couple seasons ago. I get it. You make good people, and I'm not one of them. That's fine, Jake. I'm over it. Good job, Feels MLD. Feels Keep bad, doing bad. what you do. Final couple of <laughs> shout-outs for the night. A huge shout-out to our friends at Arctic Cooling for providing us with the sweet swag to give away. Make sure you guys are watching. You never know when we're going to release a giveaway. So make sure you're in the chat earning the bread for watching us here every single minute of every single weekend. Thursday to Friday, 9 o'clock Eastern start every one of those nights. And a huge shout-out, as always, to our friends at Balls Gorana Energy Sodas. Make sure you've clipped your favorite plays. Send them to us at ML Doubles, hashtag MLDPOTW, to submit them for consideration for the play of the week. But that's going to do it for us here on the MLD Network for another week. When we come back, it'll be week six action Thursday night as we get set for the bottom half of the Platinum League season and the march towards the halfway mark of Champions League. For Achieves myself, Chimblade earlier, I've been Inanimate J. You can follow us on Twitter at AchievesRL, at Inanimate J. And Chimblade, if you really want to, at Chimblade. <laughs> <laughs> We'll see you guys. We'll see you guys. Uh, you know what? You're right. He's not here. My bad. I don't feel bad at all. But <laughs> we'll see you guys back Thursday night for Toronto Goal Thursday as week six kicks off. And you guys have yourselves a great night. Make sure that boost crutch is always full up.